So now we're going to make a fresh pasta sauce. Now obviously we're going to start with tomato. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now these are large tomatoes, okay? So we've got nine of those in there. Then we're going to also going to put into there some garlic. So two cloves of garlic, a little bit more garlic if you want to. We're also going to put some basil in here, okay? Now this is dried basil. You can use fresh, I suppose, if you wanted to. So we'll put one, two teaspoons of this in here, as you can see. Then we're going to put some onion in here. Now about 120 grams of onion. So probably a medium size onion, okay? There's about three onions here. So we'll put some of that in there as well. We're also going to put a carrot in there. Now I'm going to break the carrot up just so it'll fit in. I'm going to push it down as well. We're also going to put some tomato puree in there, about 60 mil. So about just over a third of the tube full, just there. We'll put some of that in. Now you can also put in there some oregon and you can use the dried or you can use the fresh that I'm using just here. Now I just tend to take the leaves off there. You can put the stalk in if you want to, that's entirely up to you. Uh, we'll put another little bit in there just to make sure got some in to taste as you can see we'll pop the lid on there just like so you could put a little bit of salt and pepper in to taste if you want start on the low speed and remember that's the important thing turn it on and watch what happens and then if you leave it running once it's actually all blended together it will actually heat the sauce up as well so that's exactly what we're going to do here we go So there we have it all blended together. I'm now gonna take out my tamper stick because now we're gonna heat it up. So we're gonna put our lid back on there. Remember the lid has a vent in the top, so it will actually release the pressure and the steam as it comes out. So we'll turn it back on again. We'll turn it down low first of all. Then we'll turn it up to the maximum and we'll leave that sauce to cook and get hot. So this has been running for about six minutes now, okay? So we're gonna take the lid off. It's completely cooked and it is piping hot, as you can see there with the steam coming off there. Now, obviously you can use this pasta sauce on your pasta, wherever you wanna do. I don't know, it's entirely up to you whether you're gonna put this into a pasta bake, whether you're gonna put it into a spaghetti bolognese, but just have a look at this fresh, fresh, pasta sauce, add a little bit of black pepper if you want to, maybe a little bit of uh, parmesan cheese on the top of there, but just have a look inside that dish there. Have a look inside that jug because there's loads and loads of fresh pasta sauce.